This is... Print or Pass! Welcome to Printer Pass, the review show where we take a look at 3D printer filaments and accessories, run them through a series of tests to determine whether you should print or pass on it. Today we're taking a look at Giant Arm Pet G. This you can find on Amazon for $23, currently on sale for $17. I have myself a roll of pink here. If you want to check it out yourself, I'll put an affiliate link down in the description below. Let's see what's in the box. In the box we have the giant arm spool which is a plastic spool very nice for ams compatibility and then it also comes with this resealable bag but i don't know that's pretty worthless to me so the only instruction that giant arm provides is that your printing temp needs to be between 220 and 250 degrees celsius So looking at the XYZ calibration cube, it came out pretty much perfect. I'm very happy with how the Benchy came out. The PET-G is super smooth and there's no real deformations, tiny bit of stringing. Looking at the all-in-one test, you can see that the overhangs worked out really nicely all the way to 80 degrees. The overhangs looked pretty good. On this side, you can see that there's a little bit of droopage. Not sure if you can see that on camera. Just a little bit. Not bad though. Uh, stringing. Definitely a little bit more stringing than there is with PLA for the most part. There's even a little bit of stringing between the overhang tests. Overall though, looks really solid. Like every Printer Pass episode, the strength and flexibility models that I printed out are sliced the exact same way. The only difference is the filament settings. Here we have our strength test, which is a hoof that goes around this I-beam, and I hang a bucket, throw some weights in it, start off five pounds. Easy, 10 pounds, no problem. Twenty pounds. Still fine, 25 pounds, still fine, 30 pounds, still okay, but it is flexing so hard that it looks like it's going to snap in a few seconds. Wow, impressive, I've been waiting for a while, still hasn't broken, going to remove 10 pounds put 20 in so this will be a total of 40 pounds Oof. okay I was just about to put another five in but it broke from the 40 that's still pretty impressive So this is an interesting result. Petchy doesn't really shatter like PLA does. It just kind of breaks and it doesn't really snap much. So I was able to flex it pretty much all the way down to the table before it broke. Pretty interesting. If you could take a second, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more 3D printing content and other shenanigans. This is the mystery round. We're gonna use our wheel to find a fun model to print out of this filament. If you have any fun models in mind, leave a link to it down in the comments below and I'll add it to the wheel. Let's get to spinning. All right, looks like we're printing a slug. Take a look at my new little friend. All right, this is Salamander the slug. My wife named him. Turned out awesome. No real print quality issues and it looks great. 
Giant Arm Pet G, printer pass. I'm going to have to give it a print. Right now, it's priced at $17 on Amazon, which I feel like is relatively low for a kilogram's worth of Pet G. As you can see through the testing, the print quality, the strength, the flexibility, all those tests, it looked very good. I ended up dialing my printer in at 235 degrees Celsius at the hot end, 80 degrees Celsius at the heated bed. I tried 70 degrees at the heated bed, which is default for bamboo printers, and I could not get it to adhere to the textured PEI plate. 80 degrees, no problem. So remember to subscribe, like the video, go to Amazon, pick up a roll of this stuff, it's pretty good, and I'll see you next time.